Why go like that? Can you guys hear us? Why is it moving like that? You can hear you, but it's moving real slow, right? No? We're having some trouble on our end. But uh, you could see, we're not, oh no, now it's moving. Uh, that's a little better, right? Oh, that's good. I think that's good, right? Could you guys hear us and see us good? It's real slow. Now it's better on our end. Hear you good? Yes. Well, you could hear us good. That's the main point, right? Okay, good. Man, why did you do that? All right, whatever. Let's just get it going. <laughs> we're, 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 having, we're having some trouble, but that's okay. How do you get volume? I don't know. It's jumpy, but uh, what are you going to do? All right, guys, thanks for tuning into the chat. You guys can hear, right? Oh, my God. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Okay, good. Well, thanks for tuning into the chat, guys, you guys that came. Obviously, uh, we're here to say hi and happy new year to you guys, first and foremost, and obviously to promote our new project. Uh, Coming up with a diet bet that we got. I think driving me crazy. Yeah. 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 Anyways, um, yeah. So we're. I mean, we're. We want to take all your questions that you guys have uh, about diet bet and uh, kind of you know get this thing kicked off. We're real excited about this project that we're starting. Losing some weight for the new year is obviously everyone's goal, including ours. I'm up to 198 pounds. I just weighed myself right now. And you guys saw me on Big Brother, I was probably around 180. So that's a lot of weight. So I'm, I'm cutting down. I'm losing weight right now before I start the diet bet. And once I start the diet bet, I'm still going to lose 4%. So I'm committed. We're obviously here to help you guys. And any way we can, I'll be posting things on dietbet.com. You guys, once you guys join, I'll be more interactive with everyone um, on a personal level, you know, with tips, my my eating routine, my workout routine, and just little motivational tips. I'm not I'm not a trainer by any means. This thing's driving me bonkers. <laughs> I'm not a trainer by any means, but I will, you know, I'll give you little motivational tips, uh, little eating habits, I think, certain things you could knock out of your diet easily. If you drink soda or pop, knock that out, you're definitely going to lose 4% in four weeks. So, uh, like I said, we're here to help. We're not nutritionists. We don't know anything, but we can motivate you. And I think y'all can tell me, I've, by looking at me, I've gained, I'm 140 pounds. I'm the size I was when I got fat on Big Brother 11. So I definitely want to lose weight and get down to the size I was on the second Big Brother. Cool. And, uh, Sorry. On the second Big Brother, when I was working out all the time, and, and to um, spring is right around the corner, and uh, want to get. Can't in. hear you. I don't know. Whatever. Keep going. Sorry, sorry. Um, and so yeah, so I just want to lose some weight because uh, I have got I've gained. I think since I've moved to California, I've gained nine pounds. Think it'd be the opposite because everybody here is so skinny and all into working out and all that. So, um, yeah, so I guess we can get started. Yeah, we'll just like take questions. Night. I see the first one. I see a question already about charity. Uh, we're, I'm donating. Are you donating? Yes. We're both donating our winnings if we win. I'm going to win. So, I don't know about Jordan. But my, my winnings are going to People for Care and Learning. I think you guys. Uh, know that you know the charity that uh, helped me around the world, and we also went back to Cambodia for. Um, we're it's not much, but we're giving our winnings to to people for care and learning. 
And again, it's not about the money, this thing. Uh, you know, it's 50 bucks to join in. I know that's kind of a lot of money. But uh, if you cut back on certain things, if you eat McDonald's, if you go out to eat, you know, that money very easily can be put right back in your pocket if you just skip a couple of those meals, eat a salad, stay home, don't eat out, don't eat the junk food, and, you know, you lose the calories, the money's going right back in your pocket. And it's, you know, it's, it's not about the money. It's about, you know, losing weight as a community, helping each other, getting on the website, you know, logging, you know, just getting personal, having someone push you. And, uh, you know, I got a lot of tips, a lot of tips for the whole, for the four weeks, you know, things that I do to lose weight, I fluctuate up and down. And uh, I, I, certain things that I do, just writing things down, oh, my God, I can't stand this. But, and I, like I said, I'll get to that once the diet bet starts. But I guess now we can take some questions. Yeah, and another thing, diet bet isn't, uh, I was getting a lot of tweets saying, oh, is it a scam? You're, you know, you just want to take people's money. It's not. It's a fun way where everybody can lose weight, have fun. And if you do lose 4% of your body weight, you still get a piece of the pot um, of the money you go down. So, it's a good way to encourage everybody, and then that way we can all um, show pictures of us with the progress, and um, you know. And then after everybody, I want everybody to post pictures of what they look like. I don't care if it's five pounds, six pounds, ten pounds. I want to see everybody uh, you know, wait after. Right. So uh, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> um, let's see. Is this open to fans? Canada. Yes. Anybody can join. Right. Anybody can join. Anybody can join. No matter where you are in the world, you can join. Right. It, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your coworkers. The more people you have, obviously the more money you're going to make okay. if, you, if you win. But not only that, it just gets people involved. It gets people motivated. And you're putting yourself out there. More, that's what it's all about. You're putting yourself out there. You're putting the money, your money where your mouth is. And now you put yourself on display like, I have to lose this weight. These people, you know, are going to push me along. That's what the whole thing's about. It's about losing weight as a group and, and putting yourself out there instead of just telling yourself and hiding in your room and saying, I'm going to lose, you know, this weight over a month. Odds are you're not going to do that because nobody's pushing you. You have no motivation to do that. But if you're part of a group, you have someone there. Like, you guys are there for us. I have to lose this weight. I'll be embarrassed if I don't lose this weight. So I have to do it. I have to make certain changes in my eating habits and my lifestyle and, you know, I have to lose weight. So you guys are going to motivate me to do it. I'm already 198. I ate like six wheels of cheese when I was back home for the holidays. I went absolutely crazy. So I got to, I got, I want to get down to, you know, I'm going to lose a little bit more. It's not about, I don't want to get sick looking, but I'm going to get down to where I want to be, probably around 185. So that's where I want to be. You guys want to see my belly? See my belly. <laughs> okay. We will send in a pic. Take yourself on a scale. Yeah, should we run down like yeah. kind of how it works? Yeah. You're gonna take you're gonna take two pictures of yourself to start off. So when you weigh in, and again, go to dietbet.com, and it has all answers all your questions that you'll have. But we'll answer them here too now. When you start off, you take a picture of yourself, or have someone take a picture of you, kind of like in just fitting clothes. Just where we don't want to like make anyone embarrassed about the way you look. These pictures are all private that you send into Diet Bet. So no one's going to see these pictures. Take a picture of yourself wearing loose clothes like a full body so the people at Diet Bet, the judges, can see how you look. And then take a picture of the scale so it shows your starting weight. So the people at Diet Bet, you send that in, and then they'll, the judges will give you the okay. Have a, um, right. A letter, a word. Right. They'll give you, once you sign up, they'll give you a specific word knowing that today is the date so you don't sign in you know, today, and then start losing, you know, you're all fat now, and then start losing weight. So they'll give you a specific word, specific to you, you take the picture with that word, with your weight, with the full body picture, then the judges will say, okay, you're ready to go, and you kind of do the same thing at the end. When you lose the weight, you take a picture, you take a picture of yourself, just so maybe you see a little bit of difference, and the judges will determine, yes, you did lose the weight. You know, again, it's all about, it's not about beating the system or cheating and you know, it's it's just about it's an integrity game. You should lose the weight, feel good for yourself. Right. If you want to make a fifty bucks over a course of a month, um, I'm sure you have other ways of doing it other than trying to scam diet fat. But this is all about integrity, about losing weight. And like I said, for us, it's not about the money. 
we're giving it to charity the little portion that we do win you guys do whatever you want for the money take yourself out to dinner if you win do whatever you want but it, it's it's going to be fun it's going to be great along the way what else were some of the questions when in the last date you, join. You, there, can join in. you could join the 15th is when it officially starts january 15th is the date it officially starts to february 12th you can join late if you want to, but it just gives you a shorter amount of time to lose that weight. So everyone starting on the 15th to the 12th has roughly a month to lose their weight. So if you come in a week late, you only have three weeks to lose your weight. So it's going to be a little bit tougher to lose 4%. But you can join whenever you want, but I encourage people, let's all do it together on January 15th. Okay, so Jordan, will you be updating and giving tips? Yes, I will be writing what I'm what I'm doing, my exercises. I actually, a lot of my tips I'm getting from my brother, who um, uh, he's really a lot of, of my encouragement and kind of wanting to do it because he was 225 pounds, and my brother now is 167 pounds, and he all did it by just eating right, exercising. There's no like secret to it. It's just getting off the couch. So um, I re I talked to my brother. I've been talking. You need a lot of protein, grilled chicken, um, peanuts, if you want something to snack on that aren't salty, get on top of peanut. Um, sometimes, um, I know peanut butter and jelly is not that great, <laughs> but he does say you can, uh, like, he does that for like a little bit. But um, as I go along with the process, I will be uh, writing everything down so everybody can see. And y'all, too, send me stuff of tips that you've done. Um, I don't know, like what you've done, your routine for the whole week, what you ate, how you're feeling. Send me all that stuff, and on Twitter, we can all communicate and kind of work together. Right. Um, um, Any of your friends and family doing diet fat? Uh, I know a couple of our buddies out here are might be doing right. it. I think some of my family will just join in to participate, but... uh. You know, I hope they. I hope they do anyway. I think my dad might join. My dad's a big guy, and <laughs> he said my sister just recently got engaged. So now we have to lose weight and maintain it till October, because that's when the wedding. Is. So we're all trying to lose weight now. I started December first and lost thirty-five pounds. And just another motivator. Oh, that's awesome! Congrats. That's a lot of weight to lose. And like I said, if you're you know, it's, it's, it's equal for everybody because everyone has to lose 4%. So roughly if you're 200 pounds, obviously you have to lose 8 pounds. You have to lose 8 pounds to win the game, you know. So if you're 250, you have to lose a little bit more. If you're 150, obviously you lose a little bit less. So it's good for everyone, even if you are a little bit smaller or skinnier and you just want to lose a couple pounds, this is a great, you know, a great way to do it because you don't have to lose too much. We're not asking anybody to be sick or anything like that. Just, you know, drop a couple pounds, get healthier for the new year. And you feel better about yourself overall. I could definitely testify that working out makes me feel great. You know, being skinnier makes me feel even better. I'm a little heavier now, but I think everybody <laughs> knows that I hate working out, uh, so it's gonna be tough for me. But um, I think the end result, especially out here, it's always hot. And when you feel like you gain all this weight, you don't want to. Um, you don't really want to do anything. Like you just want to wear your big sweat pants. Um, I think whenever you do lose weight, you feel so good about yourself, and I think you have more of a positive attitude. Okay. How did y'all hear about diet? Um, actually, a friend of ours, we went to we went to Boogie's restaurant, uh, Geisha House, and one of his friends um, connected us with. He knew some people from Diet Vet, and he connected us to Diet Vet, and uh, they were looking for a couple to help sponsor them. You know, they have. If, I mean, if you go to their website, they have other um, other names on there. You know, they're trying to promote it, and there's people just in their offices, and there's a there's a ton of games going on. Ours is one of many games going on, but they wanted someone like a couple to help promote it. So they're kind of we're gearing up, obviously, for New Year's, but they want to make it kind of a Valentine's Day thing. So as a couple, we're supposed to look better for Valentine's Day, but we're doing it for everything for Valentine's Day, for New Year's, and just to feel good and look good for each other. So a friend of ours hooked us up with the people at Diet Fed.
still continue the healthy lifestyle after the diet that is over. Of course, because right when you lose all the weight, you don't want to just put it back on. I mean, after I lose my goal weight, I probably will go out and have a hamburger. I'm not going to lie. But I will uh, keep it off because I'm not going to. Lately, I've been eating bad because I'm trying to prepare, prepare myself for the food because it's not going to be good for me. It's been bad for a month. And I do like healthy. Yeah. And diet, but the great thing about that is you could join over and over and over. You know, if you lose the 4%, just with our challenge, there's always challenges to go on, to meet new people. You can go on and join one of their groups. And you do it month after month after month if that's what you want, if you're continuing to lose weight. Again, it's definitely a healthy, safe way. 4% is healthy. It's not too much. And if you want to continue this over and over, obviously diet, but there to help you for that. Um, I haven't done yoga. Jeff, just, that was one of the questions. Are you both doing yoga now? I did my first one. Yeah. I've never done it before, but Jeff is starting to do it. Yeah. One of, I wrote down, I wrote, I always write down my goals for the new year. And one of my goals was to do yoga once a week for the whole year. So I did uh, my first yoga class this week. I want to continue once a week. It's a great workout. I never thought that yoga, I thought yoga was easy and you just stretch and stuff. I was dying halfway through, you know, you're, it's just, it, it was great for me. I, maybe it's not for everybody. I never tried it before, but it helps with flexibility. I sweat. I was sweating like crazy in there. I never thought that's what yoga was. but And this was, I guess, about 50% of how hard it gets. So, and I, was, I couldn't even do half the stuff. So I'm going to continue to do yoga. It's a great way to work out, and you feel good about yourself. But everyone's got to find what they like. Even if you've never worked out before, write down some goals. I'm going to, you know, the first week I'm going to walk around the block. And then the second week I'm going to walk around two blocks, whatever, even if you have to start really small, just start. Starting is the, the big thing. You know, write down a couple small goals for yourself for the first week, second week, third week, fourth, bleh, fourth week, and that's the way I do things. I like to write down goals, then you could accomplish your goal the first week, feel good about yourself, then set them a little higher for the second week, and, you know, even with your eating and things like that, um, again, I'll give more tips as days go on about what I do uh, with my diets and my habits things like that, so that's more to come, but just little things to keep in mind for, you know, when you start. Um, one thing somebody said is, Jordan, will you do yoga? I will go and um, try yoga. Jeff said it was amazing, but um, me, I normally like to just walk down by the beach. I think my brother, um, he doesn't even, he said running. That's all he does is run, and I mean, if, uh, I don't know. I just feel like I will pay for a gym membership, and then I'll just sit for two weeks, and then I won't go anymore. So, I mean, I went to Target and bought some weights and some firming uh, weights to put, like, on my leg, and I'm just going to walk everywhere. Um, I mean, you don't, if you want to join a gym, you can do it, but I'm just going to work out around here. Um, and then there was somebody else that said, Definitely don't have to join a gym. There's no. a question on here. What are your thoughts about joining a gym? Such a bad stereotype in January. You know, a lot of people think January is this magical. January 1st is this magical date that all your dreams come true. But it's a great way to start off the new year. I granted that. But you have to follow your goals and things throughout the year. You can't just wait for January 1st. But, again, this is a great way to start. A lot of people take January 1st like that. And uh, for me, I'm taking it like that. This year. You know, just you know, to kick this off right. Don't have to join a gym. Oh man, plug that in. Oh, you don't have to join a gym. I think a lot of a lot of losing weight is your eating habits. I think if you keep your eating habits right, just exercise a little. Like I said, walk around the block, walk to the store, take the stairs instead of the elevator. Simple things like that. Do just do a little something, but watch what you eat, and you'll definitely shed those pounds for sure. I think another thing too is at night not to have like. For me, I notice whenever if I eat healthier and I eat at six and I don't eat anything past six, I find myself like losing weight easier. That's one thing that I feel like helps. So, and especially with working out, that'll really help. But does anybody have any other questions about diet vet? Like, do you think that they're confused on? Um, like we said, you can go on the website. Um, me and Jeff have looked it up, and it has every question think of, like, they'll answer for you. Yeah, here's another answer. You like 
yoga or Pilates. I've never done Pilates. I just did yoga one time, so I don't really have. A, I don't know yoga. Should I increase? I missed the beginning. You mentioned increasing your water intake to help maximize your workout and fat burning. Um, obviously, drinking a lot of water is good for you, you know. And if you are drinking soda or coffee or things like that, um, you're going to lose a ton of weight if you just cut those out. Just drink water. So drinking a lot of water is just good for you in general. So I don't know about fat burning and all that maximizing. Like I said, we're not nutritionists. I don't know the answer to a lot of these health questions, but I do know if you cut out the soda and drink water, you're going to lose 4% without doing anything else. For sure. um, who, who won at tennis, I guess, is the question. We kind of just hit, we didn't really play a game. We were just warming up. I hit the ball. Yeah. We were, this is our first time out there, you know, together playing tennis. So um, it was just good to be out there. It was a nice day in California. It was almost 70 degrees. Sorry about that for people around the country, but it was a great day, so we just decided to go out there, hit some balls. Like I said, I'm starting my diet now. I'm way past where I want to be weight-wise, so I'm starting my diet now, but I'm going to weigh in just like everybody else on the 15th or the 4th. I think it's, you could weigh in like the 13th to the 15th, so I'm going to weigh in those dates just like everybody else and see what my weight is, and then I'm going to try to get 4% of that for sure, guaranteed. Uh, but and I'm gonna, I will definitely be on a scale and and the way I lost of everybody can actually see it. And believe me that I'm not just saying like, oh, I lost five pounds and I really did. So I'm going to um, have the picture. I thought you did Pilates on around the world. Is that what I did? Pilates? I remember that in Texas. Um, is that what it was? I, I don't It wasn't, yoga was a, yoga was a really intense workout. Pilates was it was pretty intense. I don't want to downplay. I don't know the answer to that. They're both great. Do whatever whatever you want. Is there any way to see if there are other people joining the challenge in my same area? Um, I guess once you join, it's just like a small community, kind of like this chat. You could post things, post pictures, post writing. So um, I would just encourage you to have people from your area join. You know, and then you could be part of one community, or once you're part of the diet that community, the Dijo uh, bet. Um, just say, hey, I'm from Chicago. Anybody else around here, or, or you know, just you know, get to know people that you're that you're betting with, you know. Um, and someone wrote, so we don't have to post our weight for everyone to see. Absolutely no. not. So. No, it is you can keep it. You can post it for everybody to see if you want. But there, when you take your picture, it's all only the judges at Diet Bet who you've never seen, you probably will never see in your life, are the people who do that picture just to see that you're not you know, totally not cheating in any way. They just want to judge and make sure that that's your body type, and then that's totally for you, nobody else. Nobody's going to see these pictures. Don't be embarrassed to take a picture. You don't have to show any skin. Like I said, just wear loose-fitting clothes when you weigh in. So, you know, they could get a picture of that and then a picture of the scale. That's it, and then a the judge will tell you, yes, you're part of the game. Nobody else sees that. It's just you, so don't be embarrassed to take those pictures. Thank God. <laughs> um, you can join and invite people to join with you. Yes, you can. Invite a coworker, a friend, a family member, anyone. It just it makes it a lot of doing anything, you know, losing weight, any of your goals. If you have someone there to help you, okay, if you have someone there to help you push, to look, to be like, hey, how are you doing on a daily basis, every couple days? How's your weight loss going? How is um, your new goal to just getting this new job. If you have someone pushing you on a daily basis, reminding you, odds are you have a way better chance of hitting your goals. And that's exactly what this is based off of. Everyone, you're in a big community, you have a better chance of hitting your goals. I just looked at something they had. I'll post it. It was on USA, or uh, what did we just watch? Today. Oh, on the Today Show, um, the CEO of Diabet was just on. And I think there's a 93% success rate for people to you know, actually win. So 93% of you who join are going to hit your goal. That's crazy to think, but it's just the, it's what, you know, being in a community and getting pushed on a daily basis, that's what it does. And, you know, it's great to see that 93% does it. I got to answer this one. So, Jeff, is it really? Technically, four picks, take a pick of, of 
scale and spell. Okay, so Jeff, it is <laughs> really that good. <laughs> no, she's saying like, is it four pictures? It's two pictures. You take one of yourself in the mirror, or have someone take a picture of you, just showing your body, and then take a picture of your feet, you know, on the scale. So, you know, obviously they're going to, you're wearing black pants, take a picture of yourself in the mirror, and then they want to see black pants, obviously don't wear shoes, with your bare feet, and take a picture of the scale so they see how much you weigh. That's it. You take two pictures. Again, if you guys are confused or we don't answer something right, um, go to the website, go to Diabet. There's a all Q&A questions, I have it pulled up right here, and everything will be very specific. You know, I want to represent diet vet the best way I can, but the best way to get a lot of these technical answers is going right to diet vet. We'll give you the general, you know, run through, but if you have any very specific questions, you know, they'll definitely be answered right there on diet vet. Oh, except Brian, that's four total. Oh, yeah, four total. So two at the beginning, two at the end. You know, but obviously just showing your weight. And again, you're going to have to put that, um, card that's specific to you, once you sign in for the weigh-in, there'll be a word and you just keep that with you so knowing that that's today's date. Basically. So that's another, you have to include that in your Can you also join something like Weight Watchers to help in losing? Yeah. Sure. Whatever, whatever you want. I have little things, um, you know, there's different apps, you know, I, I encourage everyone to write down what you eat on a daily basis, you know, so you're, you know exactly what you eat. It's in front of you. You wrote it down, and then when you go to get that snack at night, you see how much you ate already throughout the day, and it's just like, well, you know what? Maybe I don't need that snack. Look at how much I ate already. You know, I'm not telling you to get certain apps, but I have an app that does it for you, and uh, it just it reminds me. Look at how much calories I ate today. Look at how much I burned, and do I really need to eat that cookie? Yes. The question to answer was yes. I ate a lot of those over the holidays. The app loses it. It's free. And is a way to track calories that you eat and burn. Well, we're not here to promote any other app. Just uh, there's a million things out there. Write them down. Get an app. But uh, you know, it's just it's just a tool to help you lose the weight. What do you think about protein? That is interesting. I don't um, know. protein drinks are good. I would say I use protein drinks for a meal substitute. So if I'm on the run and uh, I don't have time to eat lunch. I'll make a little shake, you know, but protein is for after you work out a little bit, you know, so it gets in your muscles, but there's different shakes you can drink throughout the day, even if you're not working out. Again, I'm not a trainer. That's just what I do. I don't, I drink protein shakes. I have protein over here. So when I'm on the run and I want to skip a meal, I'll drink a protein shake and give you all your vitamins that you need for that meal. So at what time should you stop um, again. Well, I don't want to be the person to tell someone when to stop eating. I know for myself, um, I know for myself when it comes to the eating, I feel like when I exercise and I'm eating right and I'm trying to lose weight, I do better at, if I don't, if I eat at 5.30 and I don't eat anything else after or I eat at 6 and nothing after, I'm good. So, um, I feel like I lose weight. But, Typically, if I eat at 8 o'clock at night, and I feel like my weight stays the same or I gain weight. So, and my brother does the same thing. He doesn't eat past six. You're not, I think the rule is... But that's just me. I'm not telling anybody else what to do. The rule is I think you're not supposed to eat two or three hours before you go to sleep. That's, uh, I think that's what the general rule is. You guys are going to, you know, if you go on the internet, you're going to see 101 different ways to lose weight. Do this, don't do that. Basically... The, the, here, the, I'll break it down for you real simple. Burn more calories than you intake. You're supposed to intake about 2,000 calories a day. If you keep an eye on that, burn. don't eat more than 2,000 calories a day and work out. Not go to the gym workout. Go take a walk. Put down that soda. Simple little things. You'll be surprised. You don't need these special machines that they sell on TV. You don't need any of that. You need a little motivation. You need to eat right and just be a little bit more active than you are in your daily life. That's it. You don't need any gimmicks or protein shakes or, you know, bun burners or whatever they sell on TV. Just need a little motivation, watch what you eat, and burn a couple calories. That's that's basically break it down for you. Okay, where else? 
eat less, move more. There, that's the answer. Whoever, that's a great, that's a great, that's my model. What else we got? Yeah, I need a bun burner. <laughs> so do I. Eat me. All right. Start firing questions at us. The later you eat, the worse it is. Yeah. It's just because your body, your metabolism's not working, you know? So when you rest, your metabolism's not working as fast as if you're active. So, you know, you're not burning as much fat. So that's, that's, uh, that's how it works. Okay. Jordan, on... The diet vet press release said you were an aspiring cosmetologist. Will you do a control? Yeah, I'm actually thinking about going to cosmetology. I miss working at a hair salon, and I miss working with um, all the girls. So probably, um, I'm probably thinking about something. Do you guys still hike? Yeah, we haven't in a while, but. We just got back into town, yeah. so we'll definitely go hiking, though. I love it up there. We go, you know, like in the Santa Monica Mountains, and uh, it's a great workout. It's fun. It's not the gym. You're outside. We're enjoying the view. Um, obviously, we have nice weather here in California, but, I mean, just getting out and not even being stuck in a gym is uh, is great. So anytime I can get out and do something different other than hit the gym, uh, I love it. I heard eating five times a day, smaller amounts, and that metabolism going. I heard the same thing. I heard you spoke. I I know a couple of guys who are you know really in shape and really strict in their diet. Again, these are not rules to follow. Just other people do, but they eat every two hours, very small meals every two hours to keep their metabolism burning, and uh, they do that six days a week. And then on the seventh day, they give themselves a cheat day. They can eat pizza, beef sandwiches, whatever they want to eat. You know their favorite foods, ice cream. But then again, on that once you start the week over, you can't go off, you can't cheat, you know, you have to do that strict for six days, eat five times a day, small meals, and then they get, they give themselves a cheat day. Uh, I forgot what diet that actually called them, but that's a different another, another diet. Somebody wrote, um, so you guys work out together, it helps me work out with somebody. No, we don't ever, I think, I like working out by myself. Um, I feel like I get distracted, and I feel like I better when I'm by myself. I think whenever I leave for the gym or go to do something active, it makes me motivated. Because every time yeah. I come home, she's like, oh, I worked out too. And I kind of laugh. Because I think it gets her motivated. She feels bad about not doing something. So when I go to the gym, it motivates her to do something. So when I come home, she's actually on the couch eating chips with the bag open reverse, by the way. Someone. She opens her bag of chips the upside down. Doesn't that drive some people crazy? Anyway. You know what drives me crazy when he cooks and he doesn't, and he slaps stuff on the wall and doesn't clean it up. You know what drives me crazy? When she never cooked in her life. How about that? Jeff has never cleaned a day in his life. What are you talking about? I clean as I cook. I made some kind of rice thing. This, you ever hear of quinoa? It's like this new thing my friends talk about, so we bought it. But they're like little pellets, so when I cooked them, they got all over the place. But it was my first time cooking them. Left. She ate it, didn't she? Anyways. I missed the beginning, but are you restricting things, carb, fat, etc.? My thing is, my thing will be more so just eating a lot of salads, grilled chicken. Um, I probably will stay away from bread. I really feel like stay away from bread. A lot of diets tell you stay off carbs and things like that, but um, I think just minimize your carbs. It's okay to eat, you know, bread and rice, just at a pasta, but just a little, not as much as you normally would. You know, I could eat, I could put away a ton of pasta, you know, so it's just, I try to stay away from that a little bit when I'm losing weight, but definitely, you know, you have to have some carbs to keep you going. It gives you energy throughout the day, so I wouldn't say eliminate carbs totally. I don't think that's healthy, but uh, just like I said, everything, just minimize everything that you do. If, you know, make your meals a little bit smaller. Um, and also when you're working out and you're a little bit more active, you tend not to want to eat those things. You know, you're like, well, I just worked out. I just walked around the block. I just ran a mile, whatever it is that you do. Um, it, 
tends to be like it tends to motivate you not to eat that snack or not to eat fat because you just worked out, you just you know you did something good for your body, and you know it just helps you not it helps you eat the right things. It you know changes your mind a lot of it how you feel about yourself, and once you start working out and doing things to better yourself, the better you're going to feel overall about yourself. Trust me, it's, it's true. It goes hand in hand. Uh. Did you discover new recipes formulating your diet plan? Did I discover new recipes? Are we like skipping on your guys' end or is it coming off straight? Um, no, I don't have a recipe. I kind of. Skipping. It's skipping, skipping, huh? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I don't know how to fix that. Um. Your voices are still jumpy. Suck. And this thing's making noises. I can't. No, it won't work. Bad connection. Click off sound. Click off. Wait, click off. Okay, well. Sorry guys, we're trying to figure this out so you guys can hear us better. We'll go a little, we'll go obviously a little longer. We just want to get this thick. Frozen. Alright, I, I guess we can't do any. Um you guys have any more diet bet questions? I know a lot of people are posting about like personal stuff, but I mean we don't mind talking about that either. But uh but it just if you guys got some diet bet questions, you know. We'd like to answer all those. Let's continue. Nobody cares. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, if you, um, like we said before, if anybody has any questions about Diet Pet, log on to their website, dietbet.com, and slash Pete Joe. That's, Pete that's Joe. our, that's like our uh, game. Yeah. And, um, and dietbet.com too to see if you have any questions. All, everything will be on Yes, you can do it in Canada. You can do it wherever you're at. Really? You explained diet bet really well. It seems really easy. It okay. is. It's really simple. You know, you, you sign up, you pay the money, you win, you lose, you lose 4%, 4%, and everyone who loses 4% um, splits the pot equally. So the losers, you lose your money, but uh, like I said, if you cut out, McDonald's a couple times, if you cut out going out to eat, 50 bucks really over a month's period, you could definitely save that money. You know, you could definitely, you're going to make it back. But like I said, it's not about the money. It's about losing weight, having fun. And uh, that's it, you know. So, any other questions? Any other? <laughs> so what's worse? Saturated better Chicago Bears. I think the Bears. <laughs> That's really funny. Um, other than weight loss goal for the new year, have any other goals set for the year? I have a ton of goals. I like I said, I write down all my goals for the new year and uh, every year, and I have a ton of goals. I have a whole like two pages of goals. So um, I could share some of those with you guys. I guess I don't know. Maybe not. But I have a ton of goals for the new year. And uh, losing weight is obviously one of them. Staying healthy, you know, that's a, that's a major one because it helps you not only look good and feel good, but your mind's right. You know, when you feel good about yourself, your mind's right. And uh, it just, overall, your lifestyle is going to be better. Yeah. Any new projects to talk about? Um, nothing, nothing for sure right now. You know, I have a couple things in the work. Um, nothing's 100%. This is a crazy business. Uh, so 
nothing to report. Once I get something, I'll definitely let you guys know, but nothing concrete right now. I appreciate you doing this. We appreciate everybody uh, tuning in for joining us today. Do we look like bozos with matching features? <laughs> um, let's see. Jordan, are you still working? Uh, no, not right now. <laughs> <laughs> How about the Canada one? I think they're talking about the big weather. Oh. Um, no, I, I have no, I have no uh, connection with Canada, so I'm sure maybe they'll have someone else doing that. I'm not even sure if they, they do that online, but uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't, I'm, we don't even get to see that here, do we? The Canada one? I don't think so. Yeah. So no, I have, I'm not doing anything with uh, Big Brother Canada. Um. How about the two together projects? Same thing, nothing concrete right now. Um, when something comes up, we'll definitely let you guys know. But like I said, uh, nothing nothing right now to talk about. Um, what's your favorite Christmas gift? My brother got me a fishing pole, a saltwater fishing pole for Christmas, which I'm really excited to use. I just got my license yesterday, so I'm, gonna, I'm excited to go fish. So that's probably one of my better gifts at the top of my head. Oh, where are you from? Netherlands. Boring. Isabel, beat it. <laughs> um, George, you and I both had sugar daddies. Well, this daddy's running out of sugar, so we better uh, get some work going. <laughs> um, Jordan, are you going to help with your sister's uh, wedding planning? Yes. Uh, I'm very excited about that. We're still trying to figure out if she wants to do her wedding a wedding or sorry. I was living together. Oh, I'm heading to Cambodia. Uh, places you could recommend? Uh, um, what is that? Angkor Wat? That's probably the coolest. Oh, coolest Angkor Wat right. is amazing. Yeah, it is amazing. There, I mean, you'll definitely see all the major sites, but Angkor Wat is probably the, the biggest place, the biggest attraction in Cambodia. You know, there's a Ton of other things to do. You should hook up with the people from uh, from uh, people for Karen Learning. They're out there. Uh, hit up that Fred Garmin. Fred Garmin, but what's that coffee shop? Oh, I don't remember. I don't remember. Common Ground. Common Ground's coffee shop. That's where I stayed on around the world for free. We are going to the Common Ground. Yeah, that's that's Fred's place. So uh, the people who work there are great. Um, you know those the people who work there are all. <laughs> Kids that you know you could help. I I, I don't I help a kid um, put them through culinary school. Why well, not? Right. I help put a kid through culinary school, and once they go through culinary school, they get a job over at Common Ground. You know that's one of the places where they get their job. So for you know that's just a whole other thing. But uh, for six hundred bucks, you could put a kid through culinary school and help them get a job out there in a the career. So um, yeah, Fred's doing a great thing with PCL, and if you go there, tell him we said hi and the food. Is no joke amazing there? Amazing. Pumpkin soup. Check it out. Okay. If we lose a lot of weight, can we get to meet you guys? <laughs> um, maybe we'll do another chat. Yeah. Maybe with we'll everybody. Do, do something to motivate some people. Uh, maybe a chat for the winners we'll do or something like that. Just uh, we're trying to find something to do to help motivate people in different ways. Um, you know, I said the first and foremost, I think losing weight should be for yourself, not about anything else. Um, you know, you're going to feel better about everything you do in your life, everything. Once you, you know, drop a couple pounds, you're out there being more active, and uh, it's just going to make your lifestyle a lot better. It's going to help with relieve stress, feel better about yourself, but uh, we're going to try to think of something to do for the winners, you know, you know just a little extra motivation. Um, how many people do you hope to join Diet Fest? I would like to get to a thousand, but I don't know if we're going to get there. Uh, you got to tell your friends and family help us get there. Like I said, the more people, the bigger the pot. If uh, money is your motivation, then tell a couple of your lazy friends, and they'll fail, and then you'll succeed and make more money. And someone else wrote, or family and friends, our family and friends, 
joining, and uh, my dad, I think, is joining in this way. Brother and mom don't join this way at all. So. <laughs> you got to check out that thing on the Today Show. We'll post, uh, we'll post it for you, but they said you have five times, five times more likely hitting your goal of losing that weight when money's involved or something like that. Yeah, because you're losing weight and you win. But money is such a big motivator for people. But, you know, but it, it's not about, like I said, it's not about the money. 50 bucks, the way you're going to feel at the end of diet bet, you know, you'd pay, you'd pay endless amount. It's your life. It's your health. And you're going to feel great about it. You, I think everybody should watch that Today Show interview. Um, we'll post it. We'll post it after the chat so you guys can see it. And then It's like, just five minutes. Yeah. And, and um, I, I feel I watched it yesterday. And it helped. Um, it helps you get a better, even a better understanding of that. Um, how proud of you all the way pain loss? I'm so proud of my brother. Um, you can talk about pain. Because, um, I mean, because he, he was 225 and he, I didn't think he was going to lose it. He just got really motivated and people started complimenting him and telling him how good he looked and he got encouraged and uh, I mean, he works out hard every day. Uh, how much do you guys want to lose? I would like to lose, I'd like to get down to 125. I'd like to lose like 15, 20 pounds. Yeah, but not that much. We, we, don't, we want to keep it healthy. You know, 4% is very healthy amount uh, um, to lose. We don't want you losing too much weight. And actually, there's a rule in there. If you lose too much weight, you actually lose because they, they don't want people being unhealthy at all. You know, so you don't definitely don't want people to starve themselves or make it unhealthy. So 4% is a very healthy weight. I'm going to try to lose a little bit more, but at the same time, keep it healthy. You know, I'm not going to do anything to make myself sick. If it doesn't come off, it doesn't come off. But uh, 4% is a very healthy weight. Someone wrote, has, um, no wait, it's about how good you feel in your favorite pair of jeans. That's so true. I still have a pair of jeans in my closet here from my junior year in high school. And they're a little snug. So if I lose 15 pounds, 10 pounds, I'll be able to squeeze back in for a butt shape and spank them. Do you need a digital scale? No, I bought a cheap scale from, where did I buy that scale from? Is it? Oh, yeah, it is. OK. <laughs> Yeah, I bought a cheap scale, um, but I mean, it doesn't matter what kind of scale it is. You just need a scale. You need a scale. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's digital. Pain from a girlfriend? No. How's my, oh, my arm is great. It's, uh, it's pretty much back to normal. Um, it, there's just a little, I'd say it's about 98% back. You know, there's just a little bit of when I do certain things, I could feel it. But I would say I would say it's about 100%. It's all back, and I'm back to my regular workout routine and back up to my normal weight that I do. So it's, uh, it's great. Thanks for asking. How is living together going for you? Um, it's good. We have our moments. But it's good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I bet you'll never ride a bull again. Um, probably not. <laughs> it's probably the same thing. So, um, someone wrote, "Is there any specific food you're going to give up?" I'm just all I'm going for is that healthy route, mainly like grilled chicken. But the day we finish our diet bet, I'm going to treat myself and celebrate. Get me barbecue or a burger or something. I am, and then I'll go back to eating healthy again. Like I said, if you a lot of a lot of this, I don't know what this diet is, but if you eat healthy six days out of the week, you're allowed to like one day cheat. But you have to be strict on your diet in those six days. So it's not like you have to starve yourself the whole month. You know, you just eat the right things, and the weight's going to come off. For me, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to cut back on the cheese. I love cheese, and I put it on everything. Uh, so if I cut back on the cheese, that'll help. And just the sweets. I don't eat a lot of sweets, but sometimes I get a sweet tooth. 
choosing not to eat those sweets, you know, the weight's going to come off. So you have to sacrifice a little bit, but the gain in the end is going to be how you look and feel about yourself. And, you know, that's priceless. Sound like a good thing. Um, yes, we heard about Donnie, or Danny and Dom's engagement. Congratulations to them both. Yeah, that's awesome. No beer or alcohol while we're dieting. None whatsoever. What? Super Bowl during this diet, but like I said, you're allowed one cheat day. <laughs> no margaritas. I'm getting everything out of me now. Like trying to eat all this good food now before we start. Um, Jordan, do you still get homesick? Yes, I do. We have to go. I'm not going to Sunday. Year. I was supposed to work last year, Sunday, so I was supposed to do some hosting out there, and uh, it fell through at the last minute, but I already booked my um, plane ticket in my hotel, so I just ended up going anyway. My old agent was there, so that's what brought me to Sundance last year, but I have no reason to be there this year, even though it was a great time. It was so, so much fun. I would like to go back, though, again. How did your homemade garden? Good. I have it in the fridge right now. Does anybody want to buy it if I sell it? I'm thinking about starting a business. But, uh, yeah, it's great. I love it. I make it all the time, and I have a couple jars in the fridge. How do you feel about living in Cali? I love it out here. Um, I love the weather. There's so much to do. I love the ocean. You know, it's a lifestyle for me. Jordan's face describes how excited she is about living here. But she's liking it better. She likes it better. I love it. Brian says, the Super Bowl, that's the day off on diabetes. That's a true story. Like I said, just be good during the week, and you're allowed one cheat day during the week. That's how I diet. So I'm going to be good. I'm going to try to be good all the way to the Super Bowl, and then uh, definitely cheat on the Super Bowl. Yeah, we're not telling anybody either how to diet or how they should diet. We're just telling, look, how we're doing our diet. Right. So whatever works for you. And like I said, I'll be posting my tips. But they might not work for everybody. And that's what's great about having this diabetic community because everyone could post their own tips. And if one doesn't work for you, maybe the other one will. So, you know, I, that's why I encourage people to post what they're doing, what they're eating, you know, make a friend and just encourage each other. And the more tips that people put on there, the more you'll see about eating, maybe more in detail about some of these diets that everyone's talking about, people who know a little bit more of what they're talking about than us. But, uh, yeah, just help each other. Post what you you know, if you have any great tips, post them. I'd love to see them. You know, I want to change some things, too, about my diet, you know. Uh, what else? Good for you, McCoy. You made pickles. Pickles um, are good. Will you be doing the Big Brother interviews again this summer? I'm not sure. Uh, that's up to CBS. And I would love to do them. I had a great time doing them. They were fun. But, uh, like I said, it's a tough business. I don't know if they were successful or not. Uh, the interviews, but hopefully, hopefully I do them again, but that's up to people at CBS and Big Brother. Um, you two are so cool. I'm going to try and do it because I need to lose weight and brighten my attitude. I'm with you. Sister. Yeah, I was about to say that. I'm with you. I get so moody. I try on a pair of pants or I'm like, I look fat and I get in the worst mood. And then I don't even want to go out. Yeah, we're both a little... Heavier. We're both enjoy. We're both enjoying our time in California. I had I actually. I was. I gained like ten pounds over the holidays. I put on weight really quick and lose it pretty quick too. So, but I really packed it on over the holidays. You know, not working out and eating everything. I was past. I was like two hundred one when I got back to uh, to California. And I've been working out, so I'm like one ninety eight right now. So I lost three pounds since I've been back. But uh, before I left for the holidays, I was working out. I lost a couple pounds, so then when I was gone for the holidays, I just broke. I gained some pounds. All right. What else we got? Who are you rooting for in the Super Bowl? I don't even care. The Bears are out. I'm so sad about it. How was being home for Christmas? It was uh, amazing. I had so much fun. I got to see all my friends. And it's always better when you go back and you haven't seen everybody in a long time. Matt and Cody will miss your nice and what pop party. <laughs> we're going out with Matt and Cody tonight. We're going to watch. Uh, we're going to watch 
to have it. If you guys wanted to know. Oh, by the way, I watched Django. It was so good. I love that movie. If you like Pulp Fiction, you love Django. That's just a side tip. I don't know what I'm talking about. That wasn't even on the question. How do you feel about the loss of Lovey? Oh, Lovey Smith. He's a Bears coach. I was, oh. I was a, I know a lot of people, if you watch football, you know, aren't going to agree with this, but I was a fan of Lovey. The coaches love, I mean, the players loved Lovey, you know, and playing football my whole life, it's about your team and about how you get along with the coach. You know, it's not so much about the public and what they think about him. So if the players liked him and respected him, um, I respected him. So I think the players definitely respected Lovey. He just wasn't getting it done, you know. Uh, we missed out on a couple of playoff opportunities. So sometimes you got to shake things up, you know, to get different results. And I think that's what the Bears are doing. I think they definitely got to fire their offensive coordinator. I'm going off on a tangent right now. Very sad about the Bears. Ugh. Stupid Packers. I know a lot of you are Packers fans. <laughs> Have you been snow skiing in Cali? No. I love the picture uh, with Macy. I went ice skating. I went ice skating with my niece and those. Um, Jordan, what did Jeff get you for Christmas? Um, he got me clothes. Um, socks, because Jordan has holes in her sock. socks. Underwear, because she has the same one since we met. <laughs> no. I got her this shirt. He got me granny pants that were, like, too big. First of all, I called her sister and asked her what size, and she told me medium, so I got medium. And I went to Victoria's Secret all by myself and picked out panties. That's, uh, that should be something said in that, too, right? I had to return them and go get the panties that I didn't know how to wear. But I looked at them, and I was like, how big do you think my butt is? It was, they were huge. Well, you're getting big, girl. <laughs> Uh, what's my winter jam? Dude, you know what? I love this song, uh, Thrift Shop by Macklemore. That's my new winter jam. I love that guy. Um, what else we got? See, you made the effort. I'm impressed. Thanks, Brian. What, Jordan, what did you get, Jeff? What'd you get? Really? What? A knife. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cooking. Oh, yeah. She got me a ton of stuff. She got me a ton of cooking stuff. She got me a wok that's way too big for our stove. Um, she got me the George Foreman grill, some knives and stuff to cook because I love cooking. And uh, so she buys me all this cooking stuff, and then she yells at me for making a mess in the kitchen. Stupid. <laughs> um, what else? Love that song, Thrift Shop? I know it's the best. We love the Christmas card. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thanks for that Christmas card. That was great. Well, Jeff, you should have got what you wanted to steer in. I know. I was going to do that, but I'm telling you, her underwear it was the same from when we met. So I just needed some basic, you know, undies for her. I didn't want to get sexy. I wanted to replace those gross ones. <laughs> Um, what else? Yeah, me too. Love the George Foreman, but I hate cleaning it. I hate it. it makes, I love the, exactly. I love the Foreman, but cleaning it's the worst. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, I cleaned it. Yes. You didn't. I wasn't even here. Um, home dressers. <laughs> Whatever. We're an open book. Uh, what else? Jordan, you're supposed to dress sexy. <laughs> yes, for real. Cooking spray on it. Oh, I'm going to try that. I will do that. Thanks. Cleaning it's the worst, I know. I use the Bristol sponge. Or like whatever. Um, how long will you stay in Cali? Um, I don't know. We'll see. We're putting it, we're putting it together right now, so, uh, like I said, I like it out here. I think Jordan's liking it more and more. And like I said, we're just we're just taking it easy right now. How was Brinchel's wedding? It was um, it was fun. I 
I was dancing like crazy. I had my shoes off. I had a good time. It was beautiful. Like, beautiful. I don't know if you saw on TV, the wedding was gorgeous. Like, uh, just the view outside and the way they decorated the hall where you eat, um, the reception hall, uh, was beautiful. It was, I mean, it was a really good looking wedding. And it was fun. We had a great time. Yes, we watch it on TV, too. Love watching you dance. Yes, we watch it on TV. TV gigs. Nothing to talk about right now. They gave Jordan a lot of airtime. I know. They didn't even put my name on there. I'm kind of sad about it. But it wasn't our wedding. It was there, so. Um, how was New Year's? Jordan looked like she had fun. It was fun. It was low-key. And uh, we played games and uh, yeah, I love. I like. I don't get too crazy for New Year's. We just went over to a friend's house, and just played games, and uh, it was fun. Uh, what else we got? Are you gonna watch a new season of Spartacus? I put an alarm on my phone so I know what day it starts. So yes, I'm gonna watch a new season. I'm looking forward to it. Sorry. Any Valentine's Day plans? Um, we'll probably do something. We'll probably do something that involves eating, since we're going to be doing this bet and that challenge ends two days before Valentine's Day. Like I said, we're going to kind of promote it, you know, for Valentine's Day. Look the best for your significant other, and uh, you know that's kind of how we're going to help promote it too. So look your best on Valentine's Day, and then once you do lose that weight and drop the pounds and feel good. You know, take yourself out to dinner with your money, with your winnings, do whatever you want with it. But we'll probably end up going to a nice dinner somewhere. But uh, I like fish anyway, so we'll be eating that. Time. What else? Any trips planned? I have, like, four weddings to go to this uh, year. More than four. I have, like, there's, like, six weddings. I'm definitely not going to be able to make it to all of them, but. I have a ton of weddings to go to, so I'll be going back and forth to Chicago. My buddy's getting married in New York, so we'll probably be taking a lot of trips with that. You watch SOA? What's that? Oh, Game of Thrones? I just watched Game of Thrones. I just watched it. I was taking some plane rides, and I caught up with it, and I got hooked. I had it on my computer, so I'm looking forward to season three. I'm kind of hooked on Game of Thrones now. I love that show, too. You know what show I love? is uh, Elementary. I don't know if anyone watches it on Thursday night on CBS. It, I love that show. That, it's one of my favorite shows on TV. That's a good one. Uh, somebody put, Jordan, um, have you made any good friends in Cali? Um, I hang out with uh, one of Jeff's friends, wife, uh, Rachel. So I hang out with her a lot. Um, and uh, that's really it. I haven't really met that many girls that are like my friends at home. But Rachel. Yeah, Burton Rachel. Um, no, I've never been to New York City. Still waiting. So. Maybe we'll go when we visit my buddy uh, out in New York. Homeland is awesome. Homeland and Dexter, I love those. Those are great. Uh, Matt and Cody. What about it? <laughs> um, I didn't this time, but uh. I do, I do still cut it. Like, the sides I cut, and then I trim the top a little bit. Uh, Matt always says he about Jordan. Why not about me? Me and Matt are BFF. Matt is, uh, I left him, I left him out. I was thinking girl-wise, because you said girlfriend, but Matt is my girlfriend. Matt is my Miss Megan. Why doesn't Matt say sweet things about me? But tweet him that. Um, take Jordan to Central Park. All right, relax with the New York. Already. Uh, do you watch Duck Dynasty? No, we don't watch Duck Dynasty. Hey, Bob. Oh, yeah, how about this? Tweet Bob, what's up? He's always complaining about he was in North Carolina and he couldn't see us. And now he's back in L.A. and he doesn't even come visit us. So, tweet Bob, what's up, guy? I will be, um, um, I will be my sister. Made of honor. What? What about SOA? I don't know what SOA is. Oh, Sons of Anarchy. 
Oh, actually, my buddy just gave us the first season. We have that here, but uh, we haven't started watching it yet. I'm trying to get her on Friday Night Lights. We watched a couple episodes yesterday. So I'm kind of pumped that she's on Friday Night Lights. My brother got me a T-shirt that says, uh, uh, Clear Eyes, Full Hearts, Can't Lose. <laughs> Matt does say Sweet Things about Jeff. More Sweet Things about Jordan. All right, all right. He's off the hook. How's Maggie doing? Aw, oh, Maggie's so sweet. I miss her. When I left, she went upstairs in my room and got, like, under my sheet and was laying there with her frog, her pet frog. My brother's going to be sad. So I'll come back. I'll get her eventually. I just feel like I don't want to bring her here right now because I just feel like our apartment's too small, and I, I just don't want to keep her away from home. Um... Yeah, I'm surprised you don't watch that show, Nashville. I forget about it. Yeah, we were just getting bored and we record this for you on the DR. I don't want to do it. Uh, uh, housewives, any friends or family coming to visit? B Don Don's coming next week. My buddy Mimo's little brother. B Don Don, he's coming with his girlfriend next week, so we're excited to have him out here. You guys have a balcony? No, I wish. I'd have a barbecue. I wouldn't need George Foreman, but we don't have a balcony. I said two things when we were looking for an apartment. Let's get a pool and let's get a balcony. So now we're in this place. We have no pool and no balcony. So I get exactly what I want all the time. What else we got? We're winding down here. Are you near the beach? Yeah, yeah we're, we're close to the beach. No beach. No, yeah, no beach. Uh, what else? Any more diet back questions? Yes, we have a bathtub. It'd be weird if we didn't. Try a cast iron pan. Jordan, you like shopping in Cali? Yes. Yes, the weather today is about 60. I just got back from the gym, actually, and uh, it was pretty nice outside. Have you um, been to Lush yet? Never heard of it. Yes, we're going to post pictures. Like I said, you don't have to post pictures of yourself on diet bed at all, but we'll, I'll post pictures, like, with my shirt off before and after, just uh, just to motivate me, you know? Just uh, I Personally, I, it, that motivates me, so I'll take, you know, I'll take some pictures, and we'll both take some pictures and uh, put those on there. Like I said, I'm going to be more in touch. On, I'm going to try to post as much as I can, maybe not on a daily basis, but every other day, giving you guys a couple tips, a couple motivations, uh, what my workout regimen is, you know, and just I want to hear what your workout regimen is too. You know, write a couple tips for me. Um, you know, post. That's what the, that's what it's all about. It's about being part of the community, losing weight, and you know, I hope people are actively posting on there too. Did diabetic contact? We just, uh, I think Jeff already said this. We boogie Mike boogie from Big Brother had a friend, and then. What is everybody doing with their clothes after you lose all the weight? Well, give them to charity. Get yourself some new clothes. Or sell them. Sell them. You can sell them. And get, like, a Play-Doh's closet. Oh. You can take them and sell them. Or take them to charity. Donate the clothes. That's right. All right. Well, I think we're winding down here. If you got any more last questions, fire them out now. But like I said, I think we're going to do a little something, uh, you know, thank you guys so much for helping us promote this diet bet thing. You know, uh, we definitely want to keep up with you guys just about a relationship, but you guys are always there um, for us when we need help. So thank you guys for coming to chat. Thank you if you're participating in diet bet. And like I said, tell a friend, a family worker, it's going to be fun and we're going to be posting on there, you know, a lot. So we'll be in touch on diet bet and we'll obviously through our Twitter, we'll keep up with you guys. But we appreciate you guys helping us out in everything we do. You guys are always there for us. And, uh, thank you, know, you so thank much. Thank you so much. I, I don't want to make it all about business, but, uh, you know, uh, we appreciate you guys in all of our ventures. But hopefully we answered a couple personal questions for you guys, too, on the side. And so this is going to be really fun. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. So everybody, don't forget, post me pictures on Twitter. 
write me on Twitter, tell me how you're doing, all that. January 15th, don't forget. All right, guys. Happy New Year, and uh, see you on Diet Fest. Yeah. <laughs>